Do you think they know we're here? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Hunt Showdown had that big free weekend and sale, and then I, I made that video about the white shirt genocide? For the record, the term white shirt genocide is not a dog whistle for white genocide conspiracy theorists. It's actually a reference to tier one hunters in Hunt Showdown commonly wearing crisp, white, beautiful dress shirts. And tier one hunters are usually purchased by poor players, AKA new players. AKA shit players. What shit? Genocide or two? And look at this pee. killed with a by a fucking fat inbred with a goddamn katana yeah one of them's got a one hit killer yeah so do i bitch shut up <laughs> yeah i got them both bitch <laughs> at the time of the white shirt genocide video the player base was on the rise it was reaching heights that had never been reached before and there was more players than ever wading through those swamps. Dude, what an incredible time. I laid more people low than any other time playing this game. And this is this is the incredible part. I'm about to make that mountain into a molehill because the amount of people playing Hunt Showdown right now is more than double what it was during those times. That's right, Hunt Showdown came out with a new update. They added some stupid shit, I don't care. They added a fucking bird person or something like that. Who fucking cares? Whoa, it's a bird, man, whoa. Where are the fucking alligators? Point is, average player base, 28,000 people. That's 18,000 more people that are new, that don't buy antidote shots, that don't look for traps, that don't even bring fucking health packs sometimes. Look, I don't wanna take forever doing this monologue or anything, cause I wanna hop into the funny stuff, but I'm just saying. If you want to, you know, take advantage of somebody and not have it come bite your ass five years down the line via twit longer, I'd hop on Hunt Showdown and kill some of these dipshits because they, they have no idea what the hell's going on. Uh, 12 Years a Slave. You guys watch that? I haven't seen it, no. Makes you, you feel bad being white when you went out. I was like, what holy crap. Like, calm down, dude. They really, they really enslaved that guy. <laughs> they went all the way with it. Was it a good movie or was it one of those like, I make this about racism and shit? No, no, no. It was legitimately. It's yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Yeah. Um, Michael Fassbender plays uh, like this horrible plantation owner. No. He's just bad at his there. job or is he just mean? No, no. Mean as shit. And the worst part is they said he method acted, so like the, even offset, he was just whipping all the black people on set. Yeah, he's like, I barely had to try. I honestly didn't I, even. I honestly <laughs> didn't even have to put on an act. I basically just had a, a a crew follow me with a green screen behind me at all times. I just went, yeah. I went about my day. <laughs> easiest, wow. easiest money I've ever made. If you didn't think the hand bro, uh, hand crossbow could get any cooler. It one shot an emulator? Yep. You need to get these things, man. Are they small or medium? They made them a small. Oh my fucking god. Okay, you're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. It's ridiculous. They made them so OP. Check this shit out. See him? Boom. Done with it. Jesus. First, I just throw this here, and then I attract the dogs. Okay. Oh, and, then, and then I sick them on you. <laughs> I'm on a stamina, dude. Please help me. <laughs> and, fucking piece. And it works flawlessly every time. I have no health it, packs, it man. It works exactly like that every time. That's fucked up. I could replicate it if you want. <laughs> she had a colostomy bag for like uh, a couple of months, actually, not a month. And and when she finally got it removed. She was like, dude, you would not believe. 
Do you not believe how tender your asshole is after it hasn't been touched for like that long? So like wiping it is like, oh. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> you know, That's, you know like, that good heads up. So if it ever happens, I should just stay. You know, anytime the bag fills, wipe the ass. Just you know, just wipe it, just to keep it callous. You know. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I certainly do not have the guns to be dealing with someone from a distance. Mm, they probably got a soft anus, though. That's true, dude. Not like us with our callous, callous, burly chapped, anuses. Our chapped anuses. So dry and rough and tumble our anus. Yeah. <laughs> My anus wears car hearts. Dude, that watch that be like the mark of a fucking man in prison. It's like, dude, did you see that new guy's anus? <laughs> that guy's anus is hard, dude. Dude, that guy, he went to go light a cigarette, struck his match on his anus. <laughs> Fire. Why am I fighting this guy? I should let him do his thing. What am I doing? Yeah, I, I thought I could just do a quick little fucking headshot. <laughs> I like to imagine that you were lining it up by doing that shit where you put the barrel on your wrist, you know? Like, yeah, that. <laughs> one shot, one kill. <laughs> the barrel has to start in the air and then get slowly levered over your wrist into action. You know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's, that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. And then you miss like eight shots in a row of somebody who has no idea where you are. <laughs> Ooh, what's happening? Ooh. What? You have a uh, <laughs> my house. Yeah? Am I in a house? Yeah. Whoa. Do you want your chips? Here, here your chips. Hmm, it seems I've caught you at a bad moment, yes? I would say reach for the sky, but your hands are full, aren't they? This is the difference here, sir, between a man that dedicates his life to the game and a man that merely plays it. While you were busy dumping your seed into a woman, I was perfecting Hunt. I came up this ladder unawares and have infiltrated your defenses, and there's not a damn thing you can do to stop me. Thank oh, you. So, uh, well, somebody came up the ladder as soon as I sat down with uh, Madeline, so... And then I killed them. There's another guy at the bottom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Is he hurt? Uh, I hit him only once with the pistol. Damn, man. I think it'd be funny to play with Wellen if Brian was also there. Why? Because you guys just seem like opposites. Oh, <laughs> in terms man. of, like, wholesomeness, I'd just love to see how you'd react to you just being like, Yeah, I fucked her in the pussy, and I ain't fucking... I would... When have I ever said fuck her in the pussy? That's not... Yeah, I'm not you you were the like guy... The it's his catchphrase, dude. Right? Yeah, keep him from saying it. See, you said it twice in the past <laughs> 10 seconds. <laughs> I threw a hive over there, see if it chases him. No. It's, he fucking bailed. Yep. You think his friend entered the scoop face? Ah, my own bugs turned against me. Uh, no. <laughs> my own bugs. <laughs> I bottled you myself <laughs> with love. <laughs> I fed you honey every day. What the fuck is this piece of shit? I will gladly take a what a burden a burden of. Wait, two birds in the hand tomorrow for a bird, bird in the bush today? Yeah. Really? So I think it's... I get what the saying means, I but I You don't throw understand. one stone today and you kill two birds in a bush tomorrow. It's a, bur it a, bird in the, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Is that it? No. Because it's like... Two bushes in the hand are worth a bird being hit by two stones uh, tomorrow. Bird, bird <laughs> worth a thousand bush birds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The relative exchange of one hand bird. 
you just yeah like some shit will happen everybody will look at me and just be like what like and it's just funny every time Ray Ramon, you crack me up yeah that's how fucking that's how charboard is for me man like he'll just he'll just like pause and then he'll just oh say God. one I, little thing I, I fucking hate you guys why? dude i talk i I've, I've never once gone this in depth about why i liked spoon kids stuff i just feel like yeah he's funny <laughs> and like and I get these accusations of like booty well, looking this you, guy because you're gay about it. I'm fucking. <laughs> you're just I'm you're like cool about in, it. in this artist, I, most comparable <laughs> to Ray Romano, <laughs> in the way that he's able to subtly displace himself from his art. And, yeah, you're just uh, you're you're fucking cringe about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to set up a fucking guest for the podcast and it's going to secretly be <laughs> Charboard? I would love Charboard. it. I would love to talk to Charboard. I'll tell him right to his face. He's my favorite. Go on! Huh? Boob, you mad man. You're on fire. Boob! Get some! Oh, the <laughs> dead. <laughs> he got you. Man, where his ass at? That is, Hank Hill has a better ass than that. That is incredible. I don't know why they fucking did this. This guy's so dirty. I know. And you know what? Not to be racist, but black guys usually have fantastic asses. Their ass game is fucking ridiculous. They got bubble butts. This is racist that they made him so fucking washboard flat. It, it, I feel like they were trying to be unracist by making him assless, which in turn gave him a more really racist. tiny penis. <laughs> <laughs> a tiny penis, no ass, kind no, of fucking... No lips. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> He's lipless. Let he me looks get like this out of my system before. Real fucking transparent here, Crytek. <laughs> also, my dad, my dad fucking... Hey, can I actually see that with this textile? <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's like not out of the... I asked him if he wanted anything changed, but... That fucking bitch. And they say, wow, you're even more what of a disappointment as I thought. Uh, oh, yeah, tell him like this. Tell him this stuff. For... No, what's the logo for? Dude, don't you, don't you, I don't want you to, you to, to shit on, on my dad, you. dude. Not to bro, I'm not not Sam is. I, why would, I, I will. I'm not saying I you will. will. Do it I'm just everybody. Just let, him, let, it, let it be. Let me know. What is my dad is just trying to make some weird, like, thing, and he wants me to make him a logo for it. He's starting to business, He's a patent lawyer. Cool. Yes. Yeah, What's wrong with your dad's turn of business? It's real Sam's cool. like, your dad's your dad's gonna have this idea and it's gonna ruin your family. It's happened to my dad a million times. Still happened to your ruin dad. His family. Isn't your family already split and grown up? I don't know. You <laughs> just you just want you want my, say, my family to say. fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> That is a gross oversimplification, <laughs> but yes, that's basically the, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, all right, all right. That's the cliff notes. Yeah. Look at him. He's not. He just he doesn't even deny it. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, basically, my dad's gonna be the next Jeff Bezos, and when I, I will remember what you said on this day. Oh, I'll never man. forget. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking. You know what? I'm gonna tune back into this. I'll ask you about it in six months. <laughs> yeah. Wow. My dad's killed himself. <laughs> like, what do you want? Me to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good progression. <laughs> yep. Right you'd expect it to. Yep. No, no, no immediately. <laughs> I'm so unstoppable. Oh, and you confuse this obstacle. I'm trying to heat up and melt like a popsicle. Tell them anything's possible, especially when I'm toting on the tropical. And I make you say sorry when I'm robbing you. One for the money, two fuck you. I'm the